It's about how we do things in Canada. We don't do things the same way, evidently. East. The fact is over 2,000 migrant children are already in baby jails. The parents don't know where they are or when they will see them again. The head of the U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement confirmed her parents' worst fears. He expects hundreds of separated children will never see their parents again. They will be lost in the system forever. So does the Prime Minister recognize that as long as Trump is in power, the U.S. will never be a safe country for asylum seekers? My Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, as I've said, what happen what's happening is wrong. None of us can imagine what these families are going through, and I know all Canadians have the well-being of children first and foremost in their minds. And as I've said numerous times, both at home and abroad, I will always stand up for the values that Canadians hold dear. This is something that I will continue to do. The member for Vancouver East. But Trump has closed the doors to those fleeing gang violence and domestic violence. Yet many fleeing from Central America cite gang violence as the main reason to seek asylum. Trump's policy is in violation of the UN Convention for Gender-Related Persecution. As long as Trump is in power, the U.S. will never be a safe country for us life asylum seekers. Will the Prime Minister show the moral leadership by suspending the Safe Third Country Agreement? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians across the country are very concerned with the stories and images that we have witnessed. As I've said, what is happening in the United States is wrong. I cannot imagine what these families are going through. As I've said many times, the Safe Third Country Agreement is over 10 years old, and we will continually look for ways to modernize it and be in conversation with the Americans on this. And we will continue as well to closely monitor developments in the United States. Mr. Speaker, we're starting to